This is a recap of the Talk with Mrs. Gibson meeting that was held last Tuesday, May 8th, 2018. At this last meeting, we talked about the SART parent survey results. We watched the multicultural video that our own students made. We talked about some new information coming down the line with regards to music for grades five and six. We talked about staffing update, enrollment project projections, and teacher considerations for next year. We had a Campus Club Q&A session, and then we had some open discussion. The SART survey was taken the first week of March, and these were the results from that actual parent survey. 60% of our households completed the survey, so thank you to all of those for your input. Out of that 60%, we had 163 people who talked about what they liked about the school, and the top three responses were regards with regards to these three topics. The first thing was staff caring. 100 people commented on the staff caring. The second thing was that communication is appreciated. That was 19 people. And the third thing that was liked about our school was that the school feels welcoming and safe with 16 responses. And then on the opposite end, there are what needs to be improvements that we talk about or ask about in the survey as well. So out of 148 responses, 63 people said traffic and parking is still a concern. Um, the second thing that people brought up was school safety. And the third thing was that we need more technology access on campus. So what we do with these results is we obviously continue what is working and we also look at what needs to be improved and those become an action plan that the staff works together to help us create an action plan for our improvements for the next school year. The next thing you're gonna watch is a video which was put on by our very own students. This is their way of starting the conversation of what it means to be you at Reagan. I'm an artist, but did you know that I'm Jewish? I am a volleyball player, but did you know that I'm Indian? I am an artist, athlete, and a dancer, but did you know that I am African American and Cherokee Indian? I am a writer, but did you know I am a... I'm an athlete, but did you know I'm Italian? I'm a football fan, but did you know I am Mexican? But, but together, we are Reagan! Leia, how do your fellow classmates support your culture? Well, when they ask me questions, they ask me very politely and they don't be disrespectful about anything. And when they ask me, I tell them, like, what is this or what is that? And then they just go, okay, well, that's what I learned today. Bella, how does Regan and your classmates support you and your culture? Oh, my fellow classmates, they already really support me and my culture. And there's a lot more things that they can do, but I also want to respect their cultures, so I don't want them to try and convert them to my culture also. So I feel like they're doing as much as they can to support my culture right now. Asia, how do you think that reading could help you more with your culture and support it? I think that, well, seeing as I'm Turkey Indian and um, African American, um, I think for African American, I think that we should maybe do some dances, like with traditional outfits, and maybe something nice, like like folklorical, but not exactly like folklorical, but you know something like that to like support the African American and the African culture. And I am also Cherokee Indian, but I really don't know much about that because I just recently learned about the Cherokee. Indian. But I think that we should support Turkey Indian more and more about the Indian tribes or whatever and talk more about it. Like maybe an assembly, maybe giving more information or something like that. Hey Edon, how do you think that Reagan could help you even more support your culture? Well, they already do Flagorico, but what if they did a rally for Fl Day of the Dead and what if they taught Spanish at Reagan? And Moldy, you told us you were Indian. What is it like to be on the Reagan campus? It is like, I feel like everyone accepts me for what I am and what like religion I'm from and as well as they want to learn more about my culture and yeah. Ezra, you told us that you're Jewish. How does Reagan and his community support your culture? Well, I think that they support us because, well, they're very accepting of our culture and a lot of people want to know about my culture. Yes. No matter who you are, remember to be helpful original, kind, confident, and inspired.
The next agenda item which was discussed was the new music model that's coming down the line district ride for all fifth and sixth graders. We have been blessed with Mr. Vanderpart who has been able to carry our tradition of being able to be in band, strings, choir, drama, all of the above. With this new model, it actually will require 100% of our 5th and 6th graders to participate in a instrumental music or choral class. Each grade level will attend the music all at the same time and thus will give collaboration time to teachers. And we will also be adding two more music teachers to Reagan because Mr. Vanderpart cannot teach all three things at once. So to make these things more clear, something will be coming home um, in the next week that will ask students to choose if they would like to be in band, strings, or choir. From there, we form classes. So next year, at the fifth grade time, everyone will leave the classroom at the same time. Those chosen to be in band will go to band, those chosen to, for strings will go to strings, and those chosen for choir will go to choir. And they all will be out of the classroom at the same time. So in the end, it minimizes pullouts from your child's educational classroom. Another item that we discussed last Tuesday evening was a staffing update for the 18-19 school year. We do have two staff members leaving Reagan. Mrs. Ryan, our GIS, will be going over to Rayburn and Clovis East to be a learning director. Mrs. Logan, a second grade teacher, will also be leaving Reagan as she has a promotion to the district office to work under or over preschool. The staff members joining us next year will be Mr. Scott Terosian as our GIS. We will have five teachers joining us, Mrs. Lauren Castle, Mrs. Tracy Soris, Mrs. Shannon Badella, Mrs. Pamela Mantle, and Mrs. Catherine Bayshore. And we are also in need for campus monitors. We have sent that out on Paul Prince the last few weeks, and again, if you know anyone who is interested in working from 11.30 to 1.30, five days a week, for a small payment, I guess for salary, please contact Mrs. Ryan at your earliest convenience. With regards to changes for next year, we also talked about our enrollment projections and consideration of placement. As you know, we are growing, 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 and our projections right now at this moment are to be at 785 students next year. Currently enrolled for next year are 718. Consideration for placement. So at Reagan, we do not take teacher requests, but we do offer a consideration of placement form for parents to fill out. The forms are only located in the front office. They are actually a bright green paper this year, and they're due by the last day of school. These are just questions that we ask you guys in order to help us think of different ways to look at your child in regards to class placement. But again, all class placements will be determined by the teaching staff at Reagan. Class lists for next year will also be posted the week before school start and the exact date will be sent out during the summer. We also had a representative come talk to us about Campus Club at the 6 p.m. talk with Mrs. Gibson. Some items that were discussed were that all applications were made available as of April 16th. Those applications can only be picked up at the Child Development Office at the District Office. Unfortunately, by April 17th, Reagan already had a waiting list. So that doesn't mean you still can't apply for Campus Club, but you will want to do that as soon as possible so that your name gets added to the waiting list. The waiting list will be dwindled down depending on the use of facilities that we have available for Campus Club, and then the hiring process will take place after we offer them more facilities. If you're waiting for AM PM Kindergarten, you will be notified during the week of June 4th you re will receive a phone call from the school. So for example, if we call you and say you have AM Kindergarten, you'll be able to apply for PM Campus Club. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to call and ask at 327-9160. The last part of the meeting was kind of an open floor discussion with regards to questions, comments, and concerns. There were some questions regarding the choice model and if students will be able to actually pick their instruments or if that will be decided for you. Some other items were about robotics and bringing that onto our campus. Some suggested that maybe we offer fourth, fifth, and sixth graders an opportunity to pass out pod tickets again to help with our parking and traffic, but maybe that could be a block our point. The other thing brought up was if people need translators for meetings that we um, offer that ahead of time so that we can plan ahead for meetings and translators available. Some people also brought up the fact about permission click being online and how we fill out our permission click 
um, forms online now for field trips and if that site is really secure maybe we could add PayPal to it instead of just a credit card and so all of these items are things that will kind of be tabled until next year but they're great questions and comments for me to take forward to make sure I can get all of the answers for those of you who are new to Reagan or even just have a couple years under your belt and you still feel like you don't quite know the structure of how what how Reagan, Reagan works I will be offering my first talk with Mrs. Gibson meeting before school starts. So you will have an opportunity to learn the ins and outs of Reagan before you even step foot on campus on the first day of school. If anything comes up over the summer or you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at caseygibson at cusd.com. I hope everyone has a fabulous summer and thank you to everyone for all of your support all school year.